Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Pixel Perspective. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of Pure Solar and the Great Architects for the Sega Dreamcast. First I'm going to give you a little history about this game. Um, and please forgive me in advance if I fumble up. I'm trying to do this in one take. So bear with me. Uh, back in 2004, a group of independent developers that were part of a indie developer forum for Sega Genesis and Mega Drive games uh, decided to make a group effort to make an RPG. Uh, it was at first a small grassroots project that they were just playing around with, but as they continued to progress uh, with the game, they realized they could do a lot of things and they started getting more and more serious. Uh, at first it was just going to be called Tavern RPG, something like that. Um, and as they realized they were going to have a rock solid product, they decided to take pre-orders and actually make the product a real feasible physical project. And although that started in 2004, it took them six years to complete it. Which isn't too shabby for a bunch of, you know, down-to-earth beginner programmers. Um, they actually came out with a beautiful product, which is here. I'm one of the original supporters of the project. Uh, this is the Sega Genesis version. Uh, they came out with three different versions, uh, you know, European, American, and Japanese. Um, they only made a few of the first pressings. I'm lucky to have one of those. Simple yet well done independent RPG um, by these guys and they soon after decided to start a company for producing games independently and they started a, a business um, from this small project. And back in 2012 uh, they started a Kickstarter for the HD version of Pure Solar. Um, they announced that it was going to be for Linux, the Ouya, all of the major consoles as uh, like a virtual download. And most exciting, at least for me, was a Dreamcast version. Um, exclusively through the Kickstarter, uh, limited, I think it was supposed to be limited to 1500, but only. 750 or so bought the tier can get a limited edition package and I opted for that of course I usually go all out when it comes to these things especially when it comes to independent developers I really like to support them especially when they like putting out quality products and these guys really put out quality products um, of course it's taken three years like I said 2012 and we're in 2015 right now um, Watermelon has worked very hard on this project and uh, it came uh, to me today at work. I uh, couldn't uh, really dig into it. I really wanted to, but as you can see, it's better off for you now. Uh, we'll kind of uh, go on this journey together. Um, the the two head programmers and developers of the project, uh, Fonzie and Tulio, um, came up with a fantastic project here. Unfortunately, a couple months back, uh, it was announced that Tulio, for some reason, left the company. It was uh, kind of hush-hush. I don't know why. Perhaps he had family issues or there was some kind of fallout in the company, but uh, the company's still up and running, and as you can see, they went through and finished the project. Um, Fonzie is a, is a great guy. He's working on a few other projects for the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Uh, but uh, without further ado, uh, we'll dig in this package. Um, I kind of cheated a little. Um, I saw the packaging when I opened the box and I realized it was going to be a lot of fumbling on tape. So this is how it came packaged. This is like a wrapping paper. As you can see, I cheated. This is empty. Um, I wanted to, uh, you know, open it and keep it nice. I don't know if I'm gonna toss this. It it rips no matter how gentle you are with it. If you see here, I mean, this is, for those who want to keep this sealed, this is a nightmare. I, they're not gonna be able to do that. 
but uh, there were two boxes that, that came. We're going to start with uh, this, uh, the smaller box. This is the strategy guide that came with it. I already uh, broke the seal, as you can see. has a nice watermelon logo on the cardboard. Like I said, these guys go all out. I'm going to open this here. Now, I laughed as, as soon as I saw the pictures for this online. Um, if you aren't familiar with uh, this gentleman here, uh, this is Psycho Ito. He is a Japanese hip-hop artist from the late 80s, early 90s. Um, what, what makes him important to the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive have you is there's a commercial it's known as the Mega Shock commercial where where he's basically rapping um, to information about the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Forgive me, like I said, I'd probably fumble this up. Um, this is a nice little in. If you're not familiar, in Japan they have nice little obi strips that go over the uh, books, and this is uh, very reminiscent of that. Uh, as you can see, the book is like a. I want to say leather, but it's probably fake leather. It's it's glorious. Um, full color inside. I don't want to go too much into it. Probably lots of spoilers. Um, and there's a map in the back. With a little uh, sleeve to hold it. I think that's awesome. Um, as you can see, they, they put lots of detail in their work. And, and this, this, is, this by itself is just really awesome. Oh, and I, I just noticed this. I didn't even notice this before. There's there's even a, a built-in bookmark with a gold embroidered watermelon logo. Wow, that is really nice. I really like that. Okay, let's put that aside. Oop, I'm messing up as I'm putting it in. Okay, let's put that to the side. And now to the main course. Here's the actual box set. Um... Once again, th they went all out. I, the the texture of the box, the the artwork, all around, they just put a lot of thought and love into this. Got a little sticker down there that matches the wrapping paper. I really like what they did with this. Let's see what's inside. Okay, there's uh, Fonzie's uh, signature. It looks like I got number 656 of 999. It looks like uh, they only made 999 instead of the 1500. But like I said, uh, the Kickstarter was only supposed to have supported 750. I'm sure they made a few extra copies just in case anything happened in the mail. It's a nice little art card. I really like that. Like a cardboard like postcard material I'm guessing that's the game oh there's a little pull string so you can pull everything out nicely oh, there's a few discs in here or oh, oh oh no no just one disc all right let's see I decided to go with this one just like uh, the Sega Genesis version they gave you the choice of which package you wanted either American Japanese or European. I uh, even though I prefer Japanese Dreamcast games, all of the RPGs I have are English, of course. So I decided to go with the American version, so they match up that way. Um, this is the regular jewel case. Uh, as you can see, they have VMU support. I like that already. And you can see my reflection high. Um, I like how they did that. Let's take a look at the disc. Oh, there's paperwork in it. Oh, look. They got stickers inside. And uh, it looks like it's a real thick manual there. We'll take a look at that later. When I have uh, more function when I'm not behind the camera here. Um, poster. Nice gold shine to it. And the disc has a, a very, very professional mill factory pressing. That is really nice. Um, a lot of times when you see indie projects, they skimp on stuff like this. These guys go all the way. This, this is wonderful. Uh, whenever these guys come out with a product, 
you, you can see that they really put the, the care into doing it right. They want their customers to be satisfied. And, and I really like that about these guys. Nice uh, sleeve here. And the sleeve has the pull tab so you can pull it out safely and nicely. All right, I know there's all kind of goodies in here. Let's see. Lots of stuffing! Okay, ooh, look at this. And this is a mug. Um, uh, I saw one guy online uh, posted a picture of this, and to be totally honest with you, I did not know that they were going to put a mug in this package, but I really like it. Um, I'm probably, of course, never going to use it. It's probably going to sit in this box forever, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it's a nice little bonus. has some heft to it. Oh, uh, look at that. I love their, their little watermelon logos everywhere. I love that. Nice little dark brown mug. Comes in. Oh, and I'm moving the camera. Sorry, sorry. Put that back in there. That's here. Some, there's something in here. And there you go. For your amiibo, for you amiibo fans, you get an amiibo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Edda Scott. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, figuring he is great. This is top quality, guys. Um, it's uh, probably PVC. That's what I want to say. Um, the base has like a ceramic feel to it. They did a great job with this figuring. This is really nice. You know, when, when they promise these things, you know, through a Kickstarter, I, I've seen many Kickstarter go Ari where they, they say they're going to have something. These these guys came through 100%. Yeah, you know, even with, with their internal issues, uh, came out a little late, of course, but, you know, you got to think of, if, if they're going to come out with a quality product, you want them to take their time and do it right. Uh, I think these are the other figurines here. Jeez. Well, they certainly wrapped it well. Thank you, Fonzie. Oh, isn't that great? This is this is wonderful. See, they didn't have to go through all this work in detail. They definitely uh, came through with this package, guys. That's just wonderful. Little stand pegs there. Very nice. Very good detail. It's not like a cheap 3D printed thing. It's actual, you can tell they actually went out of their way to have these well-made figurines done properly for us. And there you have it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the box. Uh, looks like, uh, yeah, that's definitely it. Um, I'll put this all away later. But uh, I'm very happy to be one of the few owners of this set. Um, I will definitely cherish it forever. I won't be one of these jerks that's selling it on eBay for, I think, like $400 already, which is just nuts. Um, I'm very happy to have supported the project, to have a quality product in hand. And I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, and hope to make some more videos soon. Thanks for watching. This concludes this episode of Pixel Perspective. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please look below for the link to our blog, and feel free to leave feedback in the comments section. Thanks for watching. See you next game.